action. You can't talk about Jesus yeah. as some meek person. You have to acknowledge him for being the rock star that he was, he the was. leader that he was, the radical yeah. individual that he was. Very right? radical, yeah. The greatest American alive. Once upon a time, I went to church, but I never felt comfortable uh, calling myself a Christian. I didn't feel comfortable calling myself a Christian because the standard, the bar was so high based on what the Bible says that a Christian was. I wanted to know that with integrity that I was actually living up to the values that I was saying. Right. And then I was like, then I, in the church, you see so many people just walk around and say, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody's a Christian. You get to church, right? Mm -hmm. And it sounds so good. Yeah. And, and it feels so good. The smiles feel so genuine until you start listening to their stories and you start listening to the side talk. And then you realize, oh, these Christians are just human beings too, right? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, these Christians are human beings that are pretending not to be human beings. Yeah. Making it look effortless. Oh, my goodness. You're you a human being, but you don't poop. <laughs> oh, I don't boy. fart ever, huh? You just a smell good all mm -hmm. the time. Beyonce, yeah. I woke up like this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I get it. I understand. <laughs> right. Right. And once I found that out, I never wanted to go back to church ever again. <laughs> yeah. When you seen how much Devil's Playground was really being played, I went to church because I enjoyed the stories of Jesus. Yeah. I was these stories of one of the most incredible people to ever exist. If not, you know, let me let me rephrase that. The most incredible person to ever exist for all these religious zealots that hold this Bible like it's more important than life itself. Yeah, they were pretty amazing stories. Yeah. I mean, can I can I tap in just right there? Mm -hmm. How is a book that was written by other people more important than me? More important than you. I mean, I don't think my God would ever look me in my face and grab me by my face and look me dead in my eyes and say that a book was more important than me. No, he wouldn't. I think I think God would look look at me and say, "Hey, all those other people, that's their story. I mm -hmm. want to know what's going on with you today." I think yeah. that's my relationship with my God. Mm -hmm. They tell me I can't say that. Yeah, that's because they don't. I don't know what that's about. I've never been told that, but He said He made you in His image. For real. How how dare my Creator create me and I can't go to my Creator and have a conversation? And in His likeness. Man, they told me yeah. a story of his like his most important son. They say Jesus was God's most important son. Can a can a father as a father? I don't have a most important son. Mm -hmm. I have an older son, a middle son, a younger son. I love right. them all based on who they are as people. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I'd be a lot if I said I love them all the same because they're not the same people. Right. <laughs> you love them for each individual gift that they have. And you think it's amazing. In the history of the whole entire world, God yeah. made all these wonderful folks. And I'm supposed to just sit there and be what you think that I'm supposed to be based on your idea of what a Christian is. You better mm -hmm. stop being managed. What's your idea? And, you, and it's, let's be honest, it's not even your own idea of what a Christian is. It's what you were told what a Christian is. Man, you don't how many times have you read the book cover to cover? Stop yeah, playing. Tell not the never. Truth. Tell the truth and get some power, never. right? Yeah. The yep. thing that ran me away from the church is when they was talking about Jesus Christ, I thought he was so amazing. All these wonderful stories about Jesus turning water into wine. Yeah. And right now I'm getting thirsty, but I'm not drinking today. It's the, <laughs> every day is the Sabbath when I want it to be the Sabbath. You Facts. know what I'm saying? This is called discipline. Right? Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So many folks need to be told something for them to understand on how to be the best version of themselves. And that's crazy. Ooh, of yourself. I, I swear we always keep going to that same. Tell them one time. That it's called self-esteem. Well, you didn't hit them with the bitch that time. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was, I, I was trying, she said, I just we, feel like that. She said, in the presence of the Lord, I shall. Right. You know I, yeah, saying? I still got that. And, <laughs> You know what me and my daddy do when we see the shit? What? We talk shit. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when my brother show up, we talk hella shit. Yeah. And that's me, God, and Jesus. You heard what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. We start having crazy conversations and I start making fun of Jesus. I'm like, man, how the hell was you so charismatic, right? Yeah. I know you had a big old head. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Jesus start pulling uh, on his cloak talking about, hey, don't be talking about my peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Don't be talking about thy staff. <laughs> <laughs> nice stuff. Oh my God. I had to I had to press him a little bit. I don't know if you never had a conversation with Jesus. You better get your faith more better, right? Yeah. But I'm like, you had 5,000 people out there listening to hanging on your every word. I know there's some bad ladies out there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Over there cheering for you, talking about Facts. Jesus. Yeah. Facts, absolutely. And I know that when you have that type of confidence, your confidence. Like it's an aura, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone can just see the beaming, and you can't be beaming like that if you got a little old baby weenie. You can't even <laughs> do it, right? Jesus Christ was stepping heavy. <laughs> he was. He was. And they say he was a big stepper. I'm just, you know, 
you can't tell me a story because like I take the story and I apply it to my real life. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I see a group of 13 men, the man who's leading that group, he must be an extraordinary man. Absolutely. He has to be. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. He, he better be able to fight hard. He better be able to talk good. He, yeah. better, be able to mother, he better be able to love good too. You hear oh, me? Man, there's the finesse. Men want to be around men who can do things they can't do. Mm -hmm, all right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He could talk good. He could fight good and God dog it. Every man wants to be around the man who could be around the women. Man, they were, they were, their minds were blown. Like they watched this woman cleanse his feet with oil. And then didn't somebody hate on him when he like, why are you using your last bit of oil on this man? <laughs> hey, if my scripture knowledge is correct, I think that was Judas, right? Oh, makes sense. Man, let me, man, that's, that story, it goes so deep. <laughs> yeah. Judas was supposed to be the man who carried the money. He was the money man, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so when they were supposed to feed 5,000 people, he looked into the money pouch and he said, we only have enough money to give them only a bite. Right. Right. When you fast forward to the story, fast forward or rewind. I don't think those biblical stories are in chronological order. They're not. Mm -hmm. I don't think they are. Mm -hmm. But when you get to the place when the woman came to Jesus and anointed his feet with the oil, mm -hmm. Judas came back and he said that the same money that could feed a morsel to 5,000 people is the amount of money that she put on his feet. Mm -hmm. I was like, he was pimping before pimping. Pimp says been pimp. He came from a long line of pimps. Hey, from the original pimp. You want to be offended? <laughs> Jesus Christ was OG pimp number one, huh? Number one. N not a yeah. now, not a... <laughs> no, no one before him. No, that, yeah, for sure. The first captain saved him, all of it. <laughs> I, like the, I love the story when he turned the water into the wine. Mm -hmm. They said the party was almost over, right? And they ran out of wine. Mm -hmm. And they... For some reason, Jesus' mother came to Jesus and she said, Jesus, we ran out of wine. And yeah. Jesus looked at her and said, woman, would you come to me with that for? Yeah. Yeah. And his mama said, just take care of it. Right. 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 And like a good son, Jesus Christ made the most bestest, most dopest wine that anyone ever drank. Right. Keep the party going. Who in the world is going to keep the party going? <laughs> they some damn holier than thou ass person. Uh huh. Yeah. This dude was like. Just to be that guy, I think in the 1900s, they called them gentlemen, right? Mm -hmm. This is when you could fight hard, you, you could stay up all night, you drank hard, and mm -hmm. you had lots of women. It was like the moderate, the early day playboy. Yeah. Is it blasphemy to say that Jesus Christ was a playboy? I mean, I'm sure some of the most religious folks would say so. And those people are the most disingenuous people ever. There are, yeah. They act like they ain't human beings, you know. They they pretend to be that Christian thing, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this separatist idea, you know. Like I'm different than the rest of the people. Mm -hmm. I'm the light of the world, and you people are dark. Right. That sounds racist. Mm -hmm. Just because you think you're doing everything in perfection, <laughs> you imperfect mm -hmm. ass people, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. They said to be sinless is to sin less, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Less than yesterday, fool. Less than yesterday, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, I ain't step out the womb and just came out healing people. There was no stories of Jesus Christ being six years old and healing the blind. Right. That's not how this story goes. He had to mature and become a grown man and be 33 years old and walk with confidence and strength. Yeah, yeah. You know, he, hey, he got shot down two or three, four, five, six, seven times, right? Mm -hmm. Before he became Jesus, he was Jesus. Right. <laughs> they didn't say he was a virgin. Ah, uh, they never went there. We don't even get to explore sexuality in the church because it's like, oh, yeah, you want me to have one old miserable ass life if we can't have an honest conversation? Yeah. How wonderful that fellatio is. I mean, yeah, because attraction is real, and if we're made in His likeliness, why would He put attraction in me if I'm not supposed to be attracted? You being lustful, I swear to God, you being lustful. Oh my God, that word lust is interesting. It's instinct. I mean, I can just think that lust is like the lack of discipline, the lack of control. Okay. I mean, okay. hell, like I see a beautiful woman. It don't mean that when I see a beautiful woman, I see the beautiful woman. Then I have the thought of how I'm, what I'm going to do to this beautiful right, woman. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, if I had 37 seconds with her, what I would do. Okay, that's the lust, right. Mm -hmm. Make old sweet Gina mad at me. Gotcha, yeah. <laughs> but just to visualize somebody and just say, oh, in admiration, that's not lust. Every time a man, a real man, or I say a real man, every man with a penis and testicles, that's a real man. Yes. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. But every time like a dominant man, an assertive, an authoritative man, mm -hmm. when that guy walks into the room, everyone knows that guy's in the room. Mm -hmm. The room lights up when he walks in. Mm -hmm. Every man wants to come and dap him up and every woman is looking at every man, dap him up. And so she starts smiling next to big bad eyes like, don't say <laughs> hi to me. Yeah, yeah. Man, I want to meet that woman when she knows that I walk into the room that she just um, immediately comes and anoints me with oil. Like, yeah, yeah. It is him. <laughs> right. 
You can't tell me a story of what's possible and not want me that to have that story. I want to have mm-hmm. that experience too. I want to be so adored also. Mm-hmm. I want to be able to command the attention of a 5,000 men, including women too. Yeah. Just to sit there and applaud at my wonderful storytelling. Yeah. They say, oh, you tell stories so good. <laughs> I think a lot of men would have to agree that they didn't really start having that confidence until probably they had their first piece. Until they had their first piece. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, but it's levels to it. It's like, you know, first you like you touching and you, you know what I'm saying? You want to feel the texture. Mm-hmm. And as you feel the texture, you're like, oh, this is cool, right? Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. start to explore and you learn and you start diving <laughs> deeper until you become a master. Mm-hmm. You become a master lover. I always wanted to, I aspire to be like a universal lover, right? It sounds mm-hmm. so good. I'm a universal lover. Universal right? lover. Hell yeah. What? Like, I mean, like, I don't discriminate if you're a man. Like, I'm going to meet the people with the needs in which they need. Right? Oh, okay. Uh huh. But when it comes to women, the most bestest type of relationships between men and women is the sexual relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, what are we What are we designed to do? We ain't designed to sit here and shake hands and be friends. I no. mean, yeah. yeah. We designed to get it in, That's baby. the tech. I mean, when you get down to the nature and the science of things, this is correct. Look, I love discipline. I believe mm-hmm. in discipline and all that, but I also believe in chemistry, too, right? right. Mm-hmm. Shoots. I, you're obviously eyes are telling me that you're so happy to see me and god damn I'm happy to see you too right 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 right. and I think that that's like Jesus Christ was like the ultimate mentor the ultimate big brother the ultimate lover he just came here to just love on you absolutely that was his mission and you drink wine nigga let's drink wine Mm-hmm. And he didn't need money to do it necessarily. He was. He oh, you eat food, man. Let's eat food. <laughs> oh, you drink wine. Let's drink wine. Man, let's have fun. <laughs> I'm gonna meet you where you at, and we finna yeah. have a good time. Yeah. I'm not yeah. finna judge you. I'm finna criticize you. I'm I'm here to bring peace and yeah. understanding. It, understanding. Yeah. I think that was the most powerful thing he did when most people were trying to give condemnation. To that lady that they were about to stone and, you know. That's one of my most favorite stories ever. Yeah, yeah. That is an amazing story. He gave her understanding. Man, he did it in the most player way possible. Absolutely. They said this gentleman walked up. They said Jesus strolled (laughs) up. Just the coolest person in the world, right? Yeah, yeah. They said he squatted down and started scribbling something in the dirt. Just scribbling something in the dirt. Right. (laughs) He probably just scribbled, I'm the flyest nigga that ever exists in the history of fly ass niggas. Right. Period. Signed, Jesus. Right. Try me. Man. <laughs> right. And then as he's scribbling, he's like just sitting there and he said, Man, which one of y'all? I seen y'all at the club last night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, your wife wasn't there last night, huh? Right. And all of a sudden, feet start just, just shooting away. They start moving away because mm-hmm. they ain't got no ground to stand on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when it was all said and done, the man, hey, Jesus just looked at her and he was like, Hey, do what you're doing more better. Yeah. Yeah. Go do, go do better. Hey, stop being sloppy with that sweet Gina. Yes. Right, 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 right. <laughs> be intentional. Jeez Louise, if you finna be a a, a fast floozy, be the best fast floozy on the planet, <laughs> yes? Shoes, don't have, don't be reckless with it. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't be sorry. Be, be thankful. Ca- I'm telling you, be <laughs> thankful and be careful. Shoes, be you thankful got that to you be. got one of the most sweetest gifts on the whole history of the world. Your, your gift is so good, you brought the whole town of men because y'all had a, a good piece. Right. Uh-huh. They, they was mad. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> they mad, they jealous. <laughs> We act yeah. like the Bible, we, like it's like a different time, different place. Like people change. People don't change, man. Yeah. You just We just make up a new calendar and call it a new day mm-hmm. and act like it's a new time. Yeah, yeah. SOS, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. They were a whole different metric system. Could you imagine how amazing uh, spirituality would be if we had honest conversations about religious texts? Ah, oh, man. See, you always t- you always want to talk about accountability. And it's like people act like they are so scared of that. You can't run from life, man. You can't. They knock, knock, it's going to find you. It don't matter how long you try to run. You're just going to dig yourself a bigger hole. Put the shovel down. It's happening right now. Yeah. And so when I sit there and I look at a person have that much confidence, man, you know, absolutely positively before I even say this inflammatory statement, pause. Jesus was walking with a staff on him. You hear me? Yeah, absolutely. A little baby leg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it changed the whole conversation when uh, uh, in Talladega Nights we were talking about sweet baby Jesus. We were talking about the infant Jesus or Jesus yeah. the thing that walked with authority, huh? Right, right, right. We're talking about that little baby me. Dear Lord. 
<laughs> Sweet blue eyed baby Jesus. Man, that woman came in there with that oil and anointed his feet because she said, as you, as you was walking, I could see, I could see the imprint through your tunic. I'm telling you, and you are worth, <laughs> you are worth this oil. Thou is endowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thus. The Lord has uh, shined his light on thee. <laughs> I ain't never met not net of man. Do you know what kind of individual has mm-hmm. to go and be in the desert alone for 40 days? Yeah. He out there saying, please, please just let me fuck 10 of them. <laughs> <laughs> not 10 of them. <laughs> More like 37. <laughs> Hell. The pressure that's on, the responsibility that comes with a strong man. When you're the biggest, when you're the strongest, when you talk the best, when you mm-hmm. when you fuck the best, huh? That's a huge yeah. responsibility. Was, and y'all yeah. say, oh my goodness, don't say fuck. He got to know her. He got to know her. <laughs> I mean, whatever makes you feel better, but either way. The religious euphemism is to know. Either way. I mean, the bitches was crawling on their <laughs> legs to just, can I just touch the him i ain't even got to touch you the legend of <laughs> this <the> person him. <laughs> you can't talk about jesus yeah. as some meek person you have to acknowledge him for being the rock star that he was he the was. leader that he was the radical yeah. individual that he was very right? radical yeah when they went and got him and uh, peter cut off the person's ear mm-hmm. this wasn't a, a band of hooligans this right. was like the Roman guard they sent after Jesus, right? Yeah. It's like sending the FBI after an individual. Mm-hmm, he mm-hmm. was, God dang it, uh, uh, the Bible's most wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. And the most anointed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, the the weight, that the, the burden of being a strong person. And I think that that's like the most bestest story, the most bestest conversation to have in a time where men are trying to find themselves. The story that they tell about Jesus in the church will have you being a lost man and having people walk all over you. Yeah. But the story that you read when you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the parts that is read, right? Mm-hmm. You see the most dopest, strongest person who has the wide myriad of emotions. Absolutely. I will get mad. I will laugh. I will cry. This mm-hmm. was the full human man. And yeah. as soon as human men want to be like Jesus, and that means a man to feel the whole range of yeah. human experiences mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but the church dehumanizes jesus they as deify a, him yeah like, like, like he's something other yeah mm-hmm. oh he's so perfect mm-hmm. oh he's so flawless no he was the greatest game like it's the greatest game you hear nothing bad about this man that's how all niggas in the street need to move right somebody mm-hmm. that has strong reputation their name holds weight but you'll never hear nothing bad does that mean that person don't do nothing bad or people just respect him enough to not speak on it respect is a huge thing i love that perspective you just brought in yeah when a man has that type of 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 clout with other people Mm -hmm. right that type of rapport that my name is just good i mean that one time when he fucked up like i don't even want to talk about that because he came through so many other times right right (laughs) Like, I ain't even speaking on it. I think that's the message that we should be espousing right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's to just show up. Mm -hmm. When Jesus went to the woman at the well, like, he just chopped it up with her. Right. Her spirits was low. Yeah. And and she was like, why are you talking to me? He's like, man, because like you need a conversation. Just talk. She said, why are you talking to me? Could just him imagine? talking to her was like, oh, you're acknowledging me? That's just like when you're walking down the street and somebody's just staring down the ground. You say, hello, I like your shirt. And they go, they just light up. In the world we live in, we so disconnected right now, just standing at the phone mm-hmm. all God dog one day for you to look at a person's eyes and to acknowledge the mm-hmm. fact that I like your hair or just right. to compliment them, to humanize that person. Man, it, 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 it it's life changing. Yeah, yeah. To be is. seen, to be noticed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Understand, giving understanding, giving acknowledgement. It just, it's a beautiful thing. And Jesus showed us how to do it the best. And I can talk about all these wonderful attributes of Jesus. And once I say that Jesus Christ had old big old thing, <laughs> I say, why does he keep saying that? <laughs> I mean, shoot, Jesus was fine. I'm sure the the description is captivating I don't, I don't know i just he had to be kind of rugged right because like if he was too pretty he would have got a lot of hate i mean like we, the 12 the 12 females, cats we like a little thug so again yeah. <laughs> females we like a little roughness you know gotta what I'm watch out gotta get a roughness <laughs> you know what i'm saying make us feel safe and protected 
<laughs> nah, you don't want to know. Hey, you want to feel safe and protected, but if you can feel safe and protected by a person who's articulate simultaneously, Absol- right? Oh, goodness. You're like, holy goodness. Yeah, where did you come from? If you saw a gentleman who had on like a, a suit or something, right? Mm-hmm. And there was a person who was doing some some thug activities, and mm-hmm. he walked up and he grabbed that young man and said, you're not going to do this in front of my family. Mm-hmm. You're going to have your vaginal <laughs> secretions go start <laughs> moving like the Nile, boy. <laughs> Denial. Hell yeah, super wet. <laughs> this man bringing up all the uh, <laughs> we, geographical locations we, of the Bible. Man, if you understand the geographical location of, mm-hmm. of where these stories took place, then yeah, you just know it makes sense. Yeah, like hey, yeah, the, like you know, I, I, geez, mm-hmm. I get so tongue tied. I get so excited when right. I start talking about Jesus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You better stop. You better when you talk about Jesus, you better have some reverence. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about with glowing adoration, right? How is how is it not reverent? What's more what's more better as a man than having a big old pretty thigh? <laughs> <laughs> right, because that does change a whole man's ego. You walk around with the most bestest confidence in the whole entire world. hmm If you a chef, right? Mm-hmm. Like you can make pretty food, but you don't think that your food is really good until someone when you see them put they and they smile right. and they light up and they clean the plate and they lick the plate. And they say, mmm. That's what you're supposed to do to the sweet Gina. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you was going to go into understanding. Like, that's how you're supposed to give people understanding and acknowledgement. Right? That's how you're supposed to be of service. <laughs> this, too. This is true. <laughs> this is true. You think 5,000 people follow Jesus because he just talked good? Mm-mm. He understood. <laughs> he was ahead of the game. He was of service. Yeah, he was of service. When the men needed him, he showed up and he did the thing that needed to be done. Yeah, yeah. If they had to build some shit, they built some shit. They right. did some things, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they drank some wine. Right. And when the women needed him to be of service, he showed up and he was of service. Yeah, yeah. And that's why he got service, because service begets service. Ta-da. Yay. (laughs) It can all be so simple. But we'd rather make it so hard. (laughs) Facts. No, we we have to follow tradition. We have to be, we have to do it like this and say it like that. For thou and thou art. Like, man. That's so fake. I was a nigga. Jesus was a nigga. We some niggas. <laughs> Y'all be so offended, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I just think that we should have honest conversations and we should dive deep to have them. Uh, man, I don't even fuck this shit. This conversation yeah. is dead. <laughs> the greatest American alive. 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 That's funny. That's hilarious. So that's what you're supposed to do to the Gina. When you first said Gina, I was like, I went to murder. When, you, when I, I first heard you say Gina, like a while ago. You went to what? I, th- I thought about Martin. You were like, that's what you're supposed to do with the good old yeah, Gina. I think I, I even asked. I was like, Gina? Man, Gina was my first crush. <laughs> oh, okay. When I when I saw her in a house party, mm-hmm. I was like, that's my girlfriend. Right. Super Everyone was going crazy over, over Shireen. And me, like, I don't like all that attitude and all that stuff. Like, mm-hmm. that's so unattractive. Right. I was like, who, who'd who want that? Right. Well, she had a banging body, though, or something like I that. Is that what it was? Why were people going crazy over it? I want what's mine to be mine. Yeah. Uh-huh. When it's everybody's, I don't want that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody should. Community cooch. <laughs> uh, that rapper said, he was like, you say she your hoe, so she my hoe. Can there be a charismatic whore? <laughs> charismatic whore. Yeah. Maybe that's why she's a whore because she cares. Man, I've met women who live who live it, and it's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like, you know, your behavior is rather disgusting, bitch. I don't care, man. <laughs> I'm healing my fuckers out the here. Fuck? Pussy heals. I like dick. <laughs> <laughs> I can respect somebody that owns their shit like that. I can kick it with you all day long. Yeah, yeah. I, sure. I always, I'm always going to expect a person to be themselves, mm-hmm. and we're going to yeah. have fun with you being yourself. Yeah. But the moment you start being some duplicitous ass person, I'm like, yeah, it's not my, <laughs> it's not my cup of tea. You unpredictable, nigga. Yeah. I'll find up. I'll, I'll wind up in a whole situation that I don't even want to be in. Yeah, fucking with you. Fucking with you. Should have known better. The little silly ass bitch. I ain't fucking with you. Right, right. That's my shit. I got a million more things I'd rather, rather do. I'd rather do. I promise. 
I don't, I don't give a fuck. 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 I'm trying to tell you, man. Yeah. I and like honestly, uh, I think there should be a unification with hip hop culture and with the church because when the church is disconnected from the black community, we we are lost. Mm-hmm. The church was an economic power center for the black community. Yeah, it was a way like the the church is a tax haven, and so we can go and wash our money through the church, and we can have do legitimate business and go meet businessmen and have conversations without the mm-hmm. state watching over what we're doing. It's a place to congregate. Yeah, that'd be a great infrastructure. But the church started pimping the community for ten mm-hmm. percent, and profit was more important than being of service. And now mm-hmm. this is where we at. Yeah, they fell right into the the chastising rhetoric. Man, Jesus Christ mm-hmm. came in and flipped the tables over for the money changers. He said, "How dare you do business in my Lord and my Father's house?" And now in every church in America, you go That's into they, they selling T shirts, they selling <laughs> books, they selling yeah. man. You can listen to the whole service over the cassette. How you been in service when all you want to do is turn a profit? Yeah, facts. How you feel about Christian hip hop? That's why y'all niggas ain't hung. <laughs> No, you can't be a martyr when you selfish. Right. For real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobody. I don't care how big your Wayne Tang is. If you ain't no selfless lover, nobody want to do you. Right. That's that's really true. She had a big old thing and it hurt, and he was done quick. Yeah, that's whack. Poke, poke, poke. That's ah. whack. <laughs> ah. Ah. I'd rather be with a small dick nigga that isn't selfish. I think your preference would not to be with a small dick person. I mean, I'm saying <laughs> it's happened is what I'm saying. It's happened and they weren't selfish. Oh, Lord, man. Of course, they're no longer around. But the point is, is that. Confidence comes from being uh, of service. Confidence comes from being of service. Hell yeah. Because if you know you're doing a good thing and somebody you made somebody feel good, it makes you feel good. You can't be a good cook if they don't eat your food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, I know. I don't know. It's a little savage. That was a long time. I, I, I'm pretty sure the, the bulk of the conversation is around like 17, 19 minutes, something like that. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to take like an outtake and just like, just let it play because it's going to be funny as shit. <laughs> 